Hi Libra, welcome to your spirit guide messages for May. This is Mary, this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Libra, we have uh, messages here, maybe that you need to hear, or it could be advice, guidance, clarity, confirmation for you, uh, messages from spirit. So please only take them how they resonate for you. If you feel like some of it's not resonating or not resonating at all, that's totally fine. May not be the messages you need to hear right now at this time. You can check the description box below for past playlists and you will find uh, the spirit messages under the general readings. If you'd like to go back and watch past readings, I do consider them all timeless. So please feel free to um, check that out. We may get many different messages. We may get one big message that all intertwines together. Sometimes that happens. So I always say, take the messages how they resonate for you. So this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Jupiter, male or female watching. So let's see what we have for Libra. So I hope everybody's doing well and staying safe and healthy at this time. So let's see what the Spirit want Libra to know at this time. And also down below in the description box, you can find the decks I'm using, social media links, if you'd like to reach out for personal reading, um, send a gift, tip, donate, anything like that. It's all below. And uh, if you're new, uh, you can check out my channel, like what you see, like my energy, how I read, my style. Uh, check it all out. Uh, feel free to like, share, subscribe, comment, and uh, hit the bell. You won't miss out. And you get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. I just noticed your incense was like going up in flames there. <laughs> all right. So this is for Libra. Spirit, please. What does Libra need to know at this time? This is a general collective reading, not a private reading. So I will be pulling three oracle cards from each deck and then I'll be clarifying uh, the oracles with tarot maybe one per card maybe two if I feel like I need more and then at the end I have these prayer cards here so I'll be pulling a prayer for you at the end from spirit all right what do we have for Libra at this time what does spirit want you to know what are the messages for Libra and if Libra you would rather have me pull these cards off camera and then just come on camera with them already pulled. I can do that, but I do like to shuffle on camera to show that nothing is staged or anything like that. So please be patient with the uh, shuffling. You can skip ahead or speed up the reading if you like to. So let's get three of these for Libra. What are the messages for Libra? Thank you so much. One more for Libra, please. Thank you so much. All right, there we go. All right, so we have the numerology, the moonology, and this deck here is the soul's journey. So we'll get three of these, and then we'll clarify with the Shadowscapes Tarot. And the prayer cards, I have no idea. I got them at the Dollar Tree, and uh, I don't even know who makes them, who printed them, but there were two packs. I said, oh, those would be cute to do the readings, so I mixed them together, and those are the prayer cards. So, let's get three messages for Libra, what the Spirit wants you to know at this time. Let's get two more for Libra, please. Thank you so much. One more for Libra, what does Libra need to know? All right, let's see what we have for you, Libra. We have 33, communication. And three is about, it's a social uh, community. It's um, teamwork, collaboration, um, uniting, coming together kind of energy, three. But added together, three, three, six is about peace, harmony, and balance. So there may need to be some sort of communication needed, either between fr friends, family, or something like that to bring peace, harmony, and balance back in. And we have here physical activity. And I saw this in the pre-shuffle. So I shuffle all these cameras before, uh, all these cameras, oh my gosh. <laughs> I shuffle all these decks before I come on camera. And I saw this card. So we have physical activity, which is 13, which is four, which is about stability. So some of you may, if you've been just kind of static, kind of just, you know, not doing anything, being in quarantine, maybe it's time to um, get a little more physically active to stabilize yourself, your health, your mind kind of energy. 
and we have here parenting 63 which is nine nine is almost out of completion um so some of you could be parents uh, maybe your children are getting old enough now where they may be leaving the nest uh, maybe if some of you have been trying to have a child because we do have nine there you know nine months uh, maybe you're expecting in nine months maybe you're just finding out you you'll be becoming a parent uh, maybe you're going to give birth at any time um, could also have to do with actually your parents something come coming to a completion with your parents in some way so however that means for you we're going to clarify with the tarot um, get more information so let's see what we have here first be bold and make the first move so something you need to that carnal energy is like an authoritative kind of energy it's the emperor it's the um i think it's the hierophant kind of energy so it's like an authoritative kind of energy so what does authoritative energy do they you know they're leaders so it's here time to make the first move about something and here's your energy coming up here. New romantic cycle begins, new moon in Libra. So <laughs> this is like the justice card, as you see there, like the scales twice there. So you could have a new cycle begin here in romance. Um, and maybe you need to make the first move. And we have here, you're very close to achieving your goal give us a million so something here you're very close to achieving a goal that you've set in place that you're manifesting that you're taking the steps necessary to you're almost there so it's telling you not to give up it's almost in completion because you see it's almost a full moon here so your goal is almost there you're almost there your achievement is almost here and we have fear i realize that i am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love so something with fear could be uh, with a new romantic cycle here. Maybe you have fear, worry, stress, anxiety about new love or making the first move in a new uh, romantic cycle. But it's telling you here to kind of resolve that energy. And there's a communication coming in too. So some of you may need to make the, make the first move when it comes to communicating about a new love here. And what do we have here? Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. So, and then we have physical activity there. So some of you may need to get out and start exercising, paying more attention to your health, uh, your mind kind of energy. And then we have freedom. I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So you have the freedom to create a new happy you inside and out. And it may start with physical activity. Maybe bettering the health, um, maybe with children or your own parents. Maybe things have been kind of not so good lately for some reason. reason. And that could be about uh, make the first move here to try to mend fences. Because you do have free will and freedom to create your own choices and take the actions necessary to your own happiness here. All right, so let's clarify these energies for you, Libra, however this makes sense for you. So this communication could be coming in with um, parenting, so it could be something with your children or your own parents. Could be something with health, or it could be something with just the state of the relationship. Or um, this communication could also be with new love here, making the first move and having fear of doing that. You know, maybe liking somebody and afraid to make the first move to say, hey, I like you, you know, and see what happens. All right, so let's see. Or fear of reaching out to um, children or uh, if you have grown children or parents have been kind of on the outs, try to mend fences. All right, so let's see. What is this communication about for Libra? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Communication about for Libra. The Ace of Wands. So this is a fiery, passionate new beginning. It's exciting. Could be uh, a project, idea, um, endeavor. Something here with communication could lead to a very passionate new beginning of some sort. Something exciting. So it could have to do with a new romantic cycle here. It could be very fiery and passionate, exciting. 
or this could be, be, you know, could be about being excited again about mending fences, maybe with family and having like a fresh new start and being very happy and excited that, you know, things are going in the right direction. So however that um, relates to you. So what is this physical activity? So we have the King of Pentacles energy in reverse. So the King of Pentacles is someone who's very stable, grounded, secure, abundant. Um, they can take care of themselves. They're smart and practical. But in reverse, they're not in that energy. So, so it, maybe you need to go outside, ground yourself, go outside, get some physical activity. Um, you know, you may not, you may not be feeling um, grounded or stable right now in your health. So let's see. Well, what is this parenting about? So that's what I'm getting with the King of Pentacles because, you know, the Pe King of Pentacles is very safe, secure, stable, grounded, um, independent. So I'm getting, uh, you may feel a little out of sorts, not so stable. Your physical um, well being or health may not be too stable right now, but physical activity may help. All right, so what is parenting about the Five of Pentacles? This is feeling abandoned, left out in the cold. Some of you could have been abandoned by a parent. Maybe when you were young, uh, maybe they weren't always there for you. Um, you know, maybe they were kind of like absent parents, like not really the parents they should have been. Or maybe this could be even your energy to your children. You know, because this is the energy of feeling left out, abandoned, lonely, left out in the cold energy. Wow, so let's get one more, one more for that one. What, what else for parenting? So we have the three of cups in reverse. So yeah, some of you may not be uh, communicating, may not be, may not even be, um, communicating or with you know your children or your parents because the three of cups upright is about reunion union celebrating you know socializing community energy and it's in reverse so there's no celebrating there's no you know coming together so I feel like you're not some of you probably are not in communication with family members particularly either your own parents or your own children if they're grown. Uh, so let's get one more for that because I just don't want to leave it there. So what is the, what is Spirit's message about that? What is Spirit's message about that? What is Spirit's message? Seven of Cups. Yeah, so feeling kind of confused and disillusioned kind of energy. Uh, about the whole situation, not sure what to do. The world. So this is about closing out cycles and starting new cycles. So it's time to close out the past and try to start a whole new cycle here. Because the world is about ending things, cycles completing, and then starting new cycles, growth, expansion. So there can be a whole new cycle started here, growth, expansion, in the situation here. So... The energy is there for that. Knight of Swords. Somebody has to rush in with communication. Take action on this. Have honest, open, truthful communication. So somebody needs to take action with that, whether it's you. And that's air energy. So that may be you, Libra. Maybe you have to be the one to try to start to resolve this. If that makes sense for any of you. So let's see what this... Um, wow. Okay. Cards were flying. Okay. So let's see what be bold and make the first move is about. The Four of Swords. So obviously you're not making the first move because this Four of Swords, and that's your energy, Libra. So <laughs> the Four of Swords is just kind of sitting there thinking, contemplating in retreat mode. Just hanging back and not really doing anything. But it's telling you here, you know, if you haven't been making any moves... Whatever the situation is for you, you've been holding back. It's time to make the first move. 
All right, so what is this? So whatever that means for you, pertaining to you, it's time for you to make the first move. So what is this cardinal moon? So we just saw the new moon, so I'm not sure what state the moon is in right now. I would say by the next cardinal moon, or if we're in a cardinal moon now, this could be now, or um, by the next cardinal moon. So what is this? A new romantic cycle begins for Libra. The Six of Swords. So this, that's your energy. So this could go, <laughs> go to a very good place to peace, harmony, balance. Sailing off together in like a tranquil kind of energy. This could be a very good cycle for you. All right. So what is this? You're very close to achieving your goal. What are we trying to achieve here for some Libras spirit? Thank you so much. The Queen of Swords. So the Queen of Swords can be um, it's very smart, uh, smart energy, uses the mind. Um, it's logical. You know, to speak with truth and clarity. So this could be an energy of anything to do with the law, government, um, authority. Um, or anything like that. So if you're trying to go into any of those fields um, that have to do with like the judicial system or the law or the court system or any, anything like that, um, could also be anything like in the therapeutic um, kind of area too, um, like a therapist or something like that. So it's all about the mind where you have really uh, have to be logical and use your mind. So if you're trying to achieve something here um, in those fields or something like that, just know you're almost there not to give up, that you will be this king or queen energy that you're meant to be. So that may be only for a selected few. All right, so what is this fair about for Libra? I realize that I am testing that I am testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Yeah, okay. So what is that about? We got, we got three. Okay, we'll take them. So we have the Nine of Cups. So it's happiness, joy, and wish fulfillment. The Five of Swords. So that's your ego getting in the way. And the Two of Pentacles. Um, trying to balance things out. Are things not being balanced? Or maybe weighing out the pros and cons. You know... That could be your fear, weighing out the pros and cons, overanalyzing, feeling imbalanced in the Five of Swords energy. It could be your fear, getting in the way here, ego. But this could lead to wish fulfillment, happiness, and joy in every single way if we can um, get over some fear here so that you can live in the energy of love. So if it's fear about a love situation, you could have total happiness and joy and wish fulfillment there. If you can get over uh, fear and ego, pride uh, kind of energy. All right. So what does this help about? I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. Two of cups. So maybe, you know, if you are with a partner here or, you know, a family member, um, you know, this is someone you cherish dearly, you see eye to eye with. It's just like a soulmate energy. Soulmate can be anybody. It can be a friend, a family, a co-worker. It can be your pet. Um, it's about, you know, doing things that are good for your health and honoring that. And doing it maybe with someone that you cherish or love dearly, whoever that may be. Whether it's a partner, like I said, or a family member or a friend or even your pet. And it has to do here with physical activity also. So let's see, let's see here, or maybe you need to check on someone that you love dearly, make sure they're okay, their health is okay, especially during this time. You may not be able to phys uh, physically, you know, go and see them, but you can call or Skype or whatever you need to do. So there may be somebody that, uh, if you haven't checked on them in a while, check on them, make sure they're okay. All right, so what is this freedom? I possess the power and the free will to create my own happiness. So this is heartache and pain. So whatever heartache and pain you've had, lessons you've learned, past, present, or whatever here, 
that you have the freedom to overcome that and create your own new happiness. It could be a new romantic cycle. Uh, it could be mending fences with family, um, bettering your health, getting over fear and blocks to make things better. What else here? So we have the devil and the seven of wands. So yeah, so you may be, some of you may feel a little defensive on guard because of whatever heartbreak or situations you've had in the past. Maybe some toxic energy here, toxic situations you've had in the past. Um, could also have to do with, you know, family over here, but mending fences here also. So you have the freedom to overcome this energy. Whatever toxic energy left you heartbroken and defensive. You have the power to change that and create your own happiness. All right, so what is on the bottom of the deck? The moon. So this is about, you know, feeling a little confused, disillusioned, um, not seeing the path clearly, but it's also about deep feelings and emotions, cycles, um, secrets. I don't know if there's any secrets here to be revealed, but maybe revealing how you truly feel about somebody or have deep emotions for somebody because this would be about very deep feelings. Also, so however that resonates for you. So let's get a closing message, closing prayer for you, Libra. So what's peeking out here? The Page of Wands. So there's that fiery, passionate communication. And we have communication over here. So yeah, I definitely feel like here you need to reveal to somebody how you truly feel, your deep emotions, your passion. Um sending out a message or this could be good news coming in too so how that resonates for you if you're expecting or waiting on news from somebody this is good news coming in this coastal could be the moon about not seeing the path clearly not sure what's going to happen but good news is on its way all right so let's see here libra let's get a closing prayer for you libra a closing prayer Fill up Libra, please. Thank you so much. All right. Let's try this again. These are cards are kind of hard to want that one. All right, what do we have? Teach us to number our days that we may gain a heart of wisdom. So, you know, your days are numbered in this world. You know, they get shorter. The years get shorter, the days get shorter, <laughs> you grow older and your life seems to get shorter, that uh, don't waste any more time on any of these, if these, any of these energies resonate for you and that you have the wisdom to do what you need to do. Okay, Libra, um, best of luck to you, sending you many light, love and blessings. And as I always say is to always, always shine your light.